Uh-oh, it looks like I forgot to pay my light bill again. Let's go ahead and see if we get the lights back on somehow. Ah, that's better. So in today's video, we're going to be coding a part that when you step on it, it turns a light on. Let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can code this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a part into the game. To do that, I'm going to come up to the top and click on, click on the blue cube. For this part, it's not really important, but I'm just going to resize a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. And after you do that, we're going to add a script onto this part. So I'm going to click on it and then come over to the Explorer and find the part. And then press on the plus sign. And just go ahead and type, start typing script, and it should pop up. So let's go ahead and start by deleting the print hello world message. And the first thing we're going to do is say light part. And this is just a variable name, so it, you can change it to whatever you want. And this is going to be equal to script dot parent. And this just links the script to the part it's attached to. Next, we're going to uh, create another variable, so local. And this one's going to be called can light. And we're going to set this one equal to true. So we're going to be using this variable to make sure that it doesn't turn on and keep getting brighter and brighter. So as soon as we touch, on, touch the part, we're going to turn can light to false. And then after a certain amount of time, then we'll turn it back on. So next, we're going to start by making a function. So we're going to say local function. The name of our function is going to be light on. And this is going to be taking in a parameter called body part. Inside of this function, I'm going to start with a if statement. So if can light, then Inside of here, we're going to set can light equal to false. After that, we're going to say local light is going to be equal to instance dot new. And what we're going to put inside the parentheses is point light, just like that. Next, we're going to say light dot parent is equal to light part. So this puts the new instance of the point light onto the part. Next, we're going to say light dot range. This is going to be equal to 25. And it needs to be a lowercase l here. So light.range, like it sounds like, it just sets the range that the light reaches. And then we're also going to say light.brightness. And we're going to set that equal to 5. So these two things are things you can adjust. So if you want it to be spread out more, you can increase the range. And if you want it to be brighter, then you'd obviously increase the brightness. Next, we're going to wait for 5 seconds. And then we're going to turn the light off. So we're going to say light part dot point light. And then colon and then destroy. And what this line does is up here we added an instance of point light, which will make the part glow. And down here we're basically just deleting that so it turns off. So it's not bright anymore. And down at the bottom, we'll say can light is equal to true again. So this will make it once the, the part doesn't have a brightness or a light to it anymore, then we'll turn can light back to true so that we can turn it back on if we want to by stepping on the part. Okay, so that's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and run the code and see if we're working. Okay, I'm back in the game. So let's go ahead and step on the part and see what happens.
And I can see that nothing's happening because I think I forgot to put the touched event at the bottom. So let's go ahead and go back and add that real quick. So at the bottom here, we just need to say, say light part dot touched and then connect and then the name of our function, which is light on. All right, let's go back and try this again. Okay, so let's try this again. So I'm going to step on the part and this time I see that it turns on. And then after five seconds, it should turn off and then I can turn it back on if I want to by stepping on it again. All right, so that's all we have to do for the coding. Let's go ahead and just experiment with some of the numbers. So I'm gonna head back to the code and let's change the range instead of 25, let's change it to 50. Okay, same thing happens, but this time it has a much larger range. Let's go back to the code and change the brightness. So instead of five, let's change it to 25. Okay, and it is definitely quite a bit brighter. Something like this might be useful for an obby. If you want to have maybe like a dark area or this in a cave, you can have these different parts set up and you can even copy and paste them a couple times and uh, put them in different parts of like a cave or somewhere dark. And then as they jump on them, it'll light it up. And maybe you just have the range far enough so that they can see the next one to jump on. And one other thing that you can do with this that's kind of funny is instead of lighting up the part, you can actually light up the player. To do that, it's just a small change in the code. So if you go back to the code, and this section right here where it says light.parent, instead of attaching the new instance of point light onto the part, you can attach it to the player by saying body part here. And let's go ahead and take a look and see how this looks. Okay, so I'm going to step on the part now. Instead of the, the part lighting up, the player should light up now. Okay, and I see that I'm lit up, and as I move around, then I have the lights following me. And if I want to turn this off, I'll have to change one thing real quick. So back in the code, instead of light part, I need to say body part. Then if I run this code again, as I step on the part, in about five seconds, it should turn off. There we go. I just want to change a few more things, so I don't want this as bright, so let me change it to five, and let's go back to 25 here. There we go, that looks better. Uh, so this would be useful if you're gonna make a, an adventure type game where players have to explore dark areas. You can have one of these parts set up at the beginning of the dark area, and then you can give them a certain time where they're lit up, and maybe they either have to find a new part to light themselves up again, or they have to try to escape the cave in the set amount of time. All right, so this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.